If you look at how music is done today, if you want variations in your loop in a game, you make multiple versions of it. And if you don't want the music to be too repetitive, you make like five, ten different versions of this music. Then you have to bounce those audio files and put them inside of your game. When using reactional music, you do the music once, but you do it in a way where you can transform it in real time with the input from the gamer. At the heart of our system is the reactional theme, our interactive compositional format. So a reactional theme is an interactive composition. Uh, it's not a randomizer, that's usually been the case of, of, of uh, generative music in the past. This is composed music, but that is still changeable in real time. Here's an example reactional theme. It's a jaunty orchestral piece. I've just played the music as it is. You hear this uh, upbeat orchestra music coming here. You can then change the density, I mean, how many notes are you hearing? So you get much more sparse music. You can still take up the energy, so it's much louder. And not just making it louder, but also start to have pitches that are higher and lower. And of course, take back the density again if you want. We have an autonomous slider that starts to affect the music, so it improvises around this, the same theme. And you can progress to a different part of the music. These interactive controls, known as macros, are created by the composer in minutes using our intuitive software. And all of these macros are then mappable inside of a game to anything that you want. It can be proximity to monster or health or day and night or whatever type of, of uh, action you want in the game. So your game music can be truly interactive, reacting to what the player does in a way defined by you. If you have a driving game, you can speed up the music or slow it down. You can really change exactly every parameter you can think of in the music. And because you only compose once, Reactional improves productivity. You have less compositional need in the beginning, but more variety in the end. But the real power of the Reactional system is how it enables you to combine your interactive theme with any one of the millions of pre-recorded tracks in our library of licensed music. So I will first play just the Reactional theme in itself. And then uh, changing that by adding a track to it. So I'll start now by playing it together with the very famous uh, symphony by Mozart and see what happens then with this theme. Now it's just the theme that reacts to the tempo and the chords of Mozart's symphony. Of course, you can also add a completely different track. So you take a different track and you have the same reactional theme with this upbeat orchestra and we'll see how that sounds. You can still affect these sliders of energy or density. You can change to different parts in the reactional theme that has more instruments or less instruments. You can add the stingers. Sound effects triggered by in-game events. And everything will synchronize. And then for something completely different, a completely different genre of music that still affects and makes the, the theme, uh, the reaction theme, interact with this music and work together with it. And you can add the stingers and everything. So this was a way of showing how one piece of music, one reactional theme uh, that has a, a clear genre and the style in itself can then adapt to, to other types of music in real time, depending on user actions and, and gamer actions in the game. So creating different versions of your theme for different parts of your game is just a case of finding the right tracks in the reactional library to transform your theme with. And possibly even more exciting, because reactional is a real-time system, it opens up the brand new possibility of allowing players to choose the music tracks they want in the game. We have more than a million tracks already from both production libraries and from commercial artists, and we are talking with all the major stakeholders in the industry. So in the not too distant future, our library will include thousands more commercial music tracks from both upcoming and established artists. 
when we become more of a standard and become embedded into more games, we will be able to highlight different artists and be this meeting point between the video game industry and the music industry. And coming right back to the present, there's one more way in which Reactional creates a whole new world of creative possibilities. If you defeat the final boss, if it was a movie, of course the boss would fall down on a heavy beat in the music. That's how you expect it to be. That very seldom happens in a game because you don't know when the boss will be defeated. Since we have musical knowledge embedded into our system, we can actually tell the game, okay, the boss has fallen, slow down, slow down, there you go. Much more than just middleware, reactional music transforms every aspect of how game music is created discovered and enjoyed. There are so many interesting ways you can use this, both from an efficiency point of view, where you can make more music easier, which is good for the composer, but it's also mainly the artistic possibilities and the experience for the gamer that is really powerful. Reactional.